All right. Um, so we need to walk back towards the town, I think. Just sort of retrace our steps to find the last one. Um, the last uh, thingies, the lunch boxes that I uh, found on my way here, but wasn't able to grab because of the flooding. So, I guess we'll try to do that. Then make our way into town. Saga's mean with a uh, with a crossbow. It's quite nice. Are there any down here? Or are we on the map? I don't really remember them being like right here, but maybe. I guess I didn't really look down here, did I? I thought that was an enemy standing there and I was like super scared for a second. Um, where are we on the map? I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anything. Don't see any yarn, so any knitting. And knitting is how we know. Ooh, never mind. There's some right here. Did we already get this one? I think we might have already gotten this one. Yeah, we did. We got this one. Okay. So we got the one that's right here. I'm trying to think. We got one in the manor. We got one over here. We got one right here. So I guess the others must be in this area. Because that's those are the areas that I remember actually being near. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding. Do not play this game with me. Oh! less monsters there better be less monsters saga dear god <laughs> how many of these things are we gonna fight here you keep walking over monster triggers terrifying okay i'm pretty low on health yikes we already did this one yeah we did okay all right i saw some uh some marks right here. More yeah, yeah. Kids' lunch boxes. Okay, we found another one. Very nice. It might be good to just walk back to town now. I think. Do you want to check like back up this area though? And that would bring us back to a shoebox. So, we'll we'll hobble. I don't like her whimpering. It's really like makes me anxious. <laughs> or did I already get um Did I already get everything that was up here? I think I might have. Dang. Oh, well gotta we gotta go find that stash. Ooh. Hopefully we find a trauma pad in here. So that would be helpful. No, we got painkillers, so that's good enough. That'll heal her a lot. There we go. Okay, that's the... Is this the, the janitor's bucket thing? It is. We're really close to that. Okay. Alright, let's look around here. 
Because this is where I thought I saw one of them, right? Or did I already get one that was over here? I thought this is where I was like, oh, I can't go down here yet, right? Is it up here? Yes, it was right here, right? We go down here and then there's, yes, yes, this is it, this is it, I remember. And we're back with the Pat Main Radio oh. Hour. Up next, it's time to make some predictions on what parade floats we'll be seeing at Deerfest. <laughs> this year's parade theme is- Wait, deer. didn't I already get this one? Did it not trigger when we were up by the other place? Am I going to need to run back there and grab it? Oh, no, that's annoying. All right, we are going to need to go do that, probably. <clears throat> All right, wait, where am I right now? Because this is where I'm pretty sure we saw the yarn, yeah, like coming down this way. Wasn't it? Was it down here? Nope, that's that. And we got that one. I like that they're running away from me now. Yeah. There's the yarn. There we go. Fucking monsters. Okay. Okay, and I already I already got this one. Okay. Okay, so this must have been the one I was thinking I saw. I am going to need to run all the way back there to get the other radio stupid call because I guess I didn't trigger it before, but that's fine. Lotus says, any noticeable difference between the crossbow and the rifle? Yeah, the crossbow is not even remotely as powerful as the rifle. Um, rifle can, like, kill enemies with body shots pretty easily. Um, rifle is very accurate and has that killing intent mode where if you're aiming and you're standing still, you do a lot more damage, which is really helpful. Um, ammo for it is more abundant. The big difference with the crossbow is that you can retrieve the ammo from it. Alright, so let's run back up here, get that last radio that I thought I had already triggered, and I guess I didn't, which is annoying. And then I think we're free to go back to town. Maybe we'll go visit Watery as well to get the rest of the lock pad stuff. And, um, oh no, that's bad because I'm a little bit lost in the woods right now and I wanted to run this way. Let's run this way, it's fine, it'll all be fine. Just run away from them. Ignore them, Saga. And it would be nice to probably swap out a gun or something for my shotgun so that I can get ammo for it because I think ammo only spawns for weapons that you're carrying. We'll run back up here, get that last one because I'm pretty sure it was up here. It was on the cliff side, like overlooking everything. I think it was up here. Yeah, it was over here. We already listened to that one. Let's listen to this one now. Oh, never mind. I guess we don't get this one then. Interesting. Okay, well. We're just going to head out of the woods now. 
All right, we are back near town. This should allow us to at least enter close by. Let's investigate over here. Out of the docks we weren't able to get access to before. Is that a cult stash right there? Or is that just bait and tackle? Can't even go back there. Okay. So yeah. Boat yard. Night falls. Or bright falls. Not night falls. Uh, boat yard. Huh. And we're back with the Pat Main Radio Hour. Up next, it's time to make some predictions on... What the heck? We'll I thought we've already heard this best. one. <clears throat> this year's parade theme is deer. Let's just listen to it so it gets added to our inventory. First, I need to address something. I know the last couple of shows took a strange turn. Those people coming on talking nonsense about serving. Steps foot in and out of this town. So I'd sure as heck know if Winnie Davis died or went missing. Crossbow bolt, that's actually useful. We just want to be within earshot. We'll look around while we're here, listening to this. Oh, that's a nursery rhyme. Right. Dear, yes, something dear. Uh, hold on, let me let me think real quick. Right. So first, I just want to mention that I know the last couple of shows took a strange turn. With people coming on talking nonsense about certain people passing away. Wait. Said this already? Are they just repeating because he's going crazy? Interesting. Because I could have sworn we've already heard this one, and I, it was on, like, you know, it wasn't before I died. Or it wasn't after I died. He's literally just repeating himself. The very Twin Peaks Season 3 energy. Doesn't have anything to do with the bunnies. Alright. Uh, let's explore. Ooh. Kind of interesting. No, ooh. Trauma pad? Sure. Uh, oh no, rifle ammo. We definitely want that because we do not have a lot of ammo in our rifle. Is there anything over here? Ooh. And another lunchbox. There is. The woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was menacing. A large shape. A bad shape. It looked at me with evil, glowing eyes. I gasped. No, it had seen me. It growled and lurched toward me. I ran. I ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner for sure. I ran again. I had never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come to save me. Oop. Manuscript page. Rose woke up from another dream from her <coughs> idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero? Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero? Hmm. I did. Rose nodded, determined. 
She'd use the network to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitware to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the network. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. All right, now we know. We can case board it, hopefully. All right, case board. Old stashes, nursery rhymes, where is it? Or is it, is it, this is the one on the board. Oops. All right. Am I still missing one? Okay. Just one. All right. Just one left. Maybe it's in town where we, we needed to use bolt cutters before. That's my guess. We still need to stop by in Watery. We still need to uh, go to Swomi Hall to meet the mayor, I think. Got to do this nursery rhyme. And we got to go back to Cauldron Lake. Another we have a lot of backtracking of left to rhymes. do. Five little monsters out on the sea competing to see who the winner will be. They rocked their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried. In the sea, she replied, on the bottom, they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boots. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go there in a second. I want to go over here and just make sure there's nothing. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So what's, where is this going to lead us? What kind of charm is this going to give us this time? So I can't tell if these people are taken or if they're also just, if they're just cult members that are trying to attack me. They seem to be shrouded in darkness. Alright, so we got another nursery rhyme done. That's nice. What does the plot board say for us? Cases, nursery rhymes. Is this the last one? Right here? Right falls? Nope. We have one more, it seems. We'll have to come back and do a, a circle through at some point. Bolt cutters. Cool, we can cut these from the opposite side. That's very convenient. All right. Now we're finally back in Bright Falls. There shouldn't be any enemies here, which is pleasant. Now there was an area in town. Burst in here and expect others clean up after them. There was an area that needed bolt cutters. I think it was up here on the left. We'll have to check. She 
wouldn't just wander off and not tell us. Especially after all the weird... Are you fucking worried too? You just had to follow some stupid internet rumors and solve the riddle of Bright Falls. The riddle of Bright Falls? What is that? Wasn't back there. What is that guy doing just looking through there? In a creep? Ooh. Uh, where was the bolt cutter's door? There was one somewhere around here, right? They thought there was a, an area we couldn't get to without them. Just like a gate, chain link fence or something. Is it further this way? Let's look around. I don't remember if it would be here in the park or not. What the fuck? Is there a cult stash here? What? You've got to be kidding me. There's another oh. lunchbox. <coughs> All right. Oh, well, this is going to be the last lunchbox location in Bright Falls. That's cool. What is that, though? Why was that marked there? Um, the this. <coughs> Does that mean that there is a there's got to be a, um, a stash nearby? Because if so, then we're definitely going to want to find it. I don't know. Because I feel like we've been here before, and it doesn't really seem like there were that many. So let's um let's go investigate, try to find that um. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Let's try to find the yeah. What the fuck though? You what is this? How it went last time. The sacrifices we made. The pain. It's happening again. Yeah, so there's definitely like a code here or something. Is there a different one? That's so bizarre. Where are we? We're over here. Yeah, I don't know. Bizarre. All right. I thought there was a there was like a fence or something to break in here. Here we go. Here it is. Bullet cutters. All right, let's explore this place. Another cult stash? Great. Work log. Overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception, hopefully not due to the paint job. Took a photo with a giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Park's trash needed a fresh coat of paint. Painted extra layer. Tried painting a large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on the, a bench in a sheltered area and had an epiphany. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Interesting. Replaced a screw on the purple park bench. Okay. Well, we got some of them. It was like, there was one that was like left and right that were side by side. And then there was... Um, And then there was the the one that two that were pointing up. So I guess we just have to plan the order or like get the order right. Um. Hmm. So I think the two that are pointed up are last, because we found those as, as furthest. And then these ones are probably second because we found them close by. So now all I need to do is this. Right. There we go. Process of elimination. Uh, but Bart says, so Alan basically tried to manipulate Rose by writing her into the story. It didn't work as he planned, and Rose was not able to follow Alan's story, but she decided to follow the story anyway because she wanted to help her favorite author. Am I getting it right? Is that what's going on with Rose? Alan contacted Rose in her dreams to, t to ask her for, uh, for help to give the pages to Saga, who was the hero. So she helped him correctly. It's just she's also doing this other thing where she's like, she thinks that he's going to need 
stuff in the woods. But it's all worth noting, so, uh, Alan probably wrote her into the story knowing that he was her favorite author. And then on top of that, knowing that she would be, uh, she would do all of this. Like, that's how this works. He's altering her behavior, period. So I don't think that she's, she's like doing it wrong. She doesn't really know what's happening. She's just trying her best. But there's nothing we can really say uh, about it that like makes it seem like maybe she doesn't know what she's doing, right? Like she could, for all we know, this is exactly the way it was meant to be. Hmm. All right, so we do need to go to the sheriff's office, so we're not going to do that right now. Yeah, go to the sheriff's station. We're going to do exactly the opposite of that. We got into there, which is cool, which means we got the last thing that we wanted there. Um, it might be time to head back to Cauldron Lake because I think we can get pretty much the last of thing the things in Cauldron Lake. Stashes. Bright Falls area. We'll want to loot back here and maybe get the rest of these when we need them. I don't know where they're going to be. And then uh, Alex Casey lunchboxes. Bright Falls is finished. Got all the lunch boxes hidden around Bright Falls. Nice. Watery, we only have one more. And I think there's just a, uh, there's literally a padlock there, so we can just bolt cut through it. Let's head to Watery. Should be relatively easy to get the rest of these. Too watery. So you think they're so mysterious, they're ridiculous, Matt. Aquatics says, have we upgraded everything? Nope. That's why we're doing this. We need to up we want to upgrade our stuff. So we have to we have to get the manuscript pages from the lunch boxes and, and get all the stashes and do all those things. Because I do need to stop into Swomi Hall as well to talk to Mayor Setter uh, again. Let's really quickly look at this. Watery area, we just have one lunchbox to find. This is Radio Tower, Coffee World, Lighthouse Trailer Park. This one, uh, lunchbox found behind the motorcycle club. How many are there? There's just one more. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's stop into Swomi Hall, see if we can meet Mayor Setter, like she said. I hear some concerning things over from Bright Falls. You mean that Ooh, a dog. Why is Setter for mayor? Is this Setter? That dog has a mottled dong. What the heck? Oh. Hello, Mayor Setter. Nice to meet you. Vote for mayor. What is this? Oh, marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Saga's thing. That seems useful. Chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. That's also really useful. Put that there. And increase max health restored in safe havens. We'll move this here. Um, holy crap, that's cool. Okay, so that's useful. The setter pin or whatever. Let's absolutely make a manual save.
Neat. Okay. So this marks nearby points of interest on the map. How big of a area is points of interest or nearby? Okay. Point of interest, container, my car, cult stash. Oh my god. Okay. Point of interest, shoebox, investigation, investigation, door item bolt cutters. We do need to go there for the bolt cutters. Okay, so this is just showing us where things are now. That's f fucking awesome. That kicks so much ass. Um, really quickly, where is the thing? Ren says, take off the charmer. I want to see if it all disappears. Um, uh, many of them should disappear. Yeah, it looks like um, a lot of different things disappeared. I don't know if all of them did, but we got to go down there and get that one. Locked door, watery lighthouse. Point of interest, bolt cutters. Okay, so now we have some places we know we want to explore, which is helpful. There'll probably be some nursery rhymes in there as well. All right, cool. Well, that's the cutest mirror I've ever seen for sure. Ren says, want to see if you can just keep your other charm with you and take it off after marking everything? I don't know. I'm not sure. Their cult, is it down here is where the cult stash is? Yep. Another cult box. That car one was too easy. Here's mine. There are three batteries, which have a combined charge of 1,600 amps. B2 has 128 amps more than B3. B1 has two times the charge as B3. B1, so B1 is the largest. It has two times the charge of B3. Okay, how do you do this? So we take the total, 1600, and we subtract 128, right? Where's my my thing because we only need to find b2 so we subtract 128 from the total because um and then we divide it by three yeah that's what we do i think where's my calculator come on calculator app so 1600 this 1600 minus 128 equals 1472 divided by 3 equals uh er, no plus equals 490 plus 128 618 right did i do that correctly i think so would it be 618? Let's try it. Nope. All right, hold on. Let's do this again. Here's mine. There are three batteries, B1, B2, B3, which have a combined charge of 1,600 amps. So, again, 1,600 is our, is our target number. 1,600 equals 1600 equals b1 plus b2 plus b3 b2 has 128 more amps than b3 b1 has two times as much charge as b3 Huh. How am I going to do this? Uh, 
Let's see. So 128 minus 1600 minus 128. 1472 right 1472 yeah here we go okay I, I was going about it wrong. So, the best way to do this is in like an equation, right? So using like Wolfram Alpha, <laughs> just typing it in like this. It is x plus 2x plus x plus 128 equals 1600. And this is a trick because technically it's just 2x plus 2x plus 128. So, all we need to do is figure out what 4x is, because 4x is 1,600 minus 128, right? So, that 4x is 1,472. That makes x, oh, let me do the math in my head. A single x, I was putting in... 490 or 618 or something um, it should be 496 that's what it is there we go hey spreadsheets and Wolfram Alpha it works why do I have to take a fucking math test to open a stash what if I need to get in fast I can't do math in my head I'm not ate a fucking lovelace I missed dinner getting this thing open it was family pizza night I love the idea of these like family bumpkin, like country bumpkin dudes, like getting all involved in this annoying like math stash gameplay bullshit. These these cult people are literally bumbling backwater idiots. So that's fun. Okay, I did that right. That was fun. I like these little math puzzles. All right, so now we need to go back to like espresso world or whatever, coffee world. So let's do that real quick. Really quickly, let's upgrade uh, the weapon. I just upgraded this one off screen by accident. We're just gonna increase the gun. In one fluid motion, reload. Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder, and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. All right, we're back in Coffee World. Let's uh, open those locks that were locked with uh, things we needed to see use bolt cutters on. Yeah, we gotta go there at the very least, so. Or the to the workshop, which is just over here. I'm gonna bolt cutters this. What's gonna be back here? Anything good? We got a container, that's nice. Yep. Is it really just a leads back here? It was just a container? Look at the map. 
Alt stash. Oh, okay. Where is it? Back here? No? Oh, we couldn't get back here before. This is a slightly separate area. Okay. I thought this was literally just the back, like, I thought this was the area we'd been to with the knights. Interesting. Okay, this is a new area. Where's the stash? Where's it located? Am I blind? I am. Just over here somewhere. Yep, Another it's against the wall. Box. she die? No. Oh god. Get off me. She's dead. <clears throat> Alright, let's take care of these. Yikes. Spare parts. What? Oh, it's. I. I'm getting it. Am I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the stuff that's just around here. We already have some of them. We don't need to worry about it. I just need the Ferris wheel cups. One, two. Yay. All right, I got him, I think. I think I got it. Yeah, Ferris wheel, rocket. I don't know what number this is supposed to be. That's obviously a five, right? Is that supposed to be a two that's been scribbled? No? Did I get the order wrong? Yeah, okay, I got the order wrong. Okay. 
I'm putting in writing here that the Operation Bigger is Better is simply not possible from an engineering perspective. I know he loves his crazy ideas, but this schematic looks like it was from a damn comic book. Charlene drew it for him, didn't she? It can't be done. Did he want to make, like, a Alan Wake mecha? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was just, there were just two of those. There were four of these. So. Yeah, the shotgun has started spawning ammo when we put it back in our inventory. So we're not getting ammo for guns we're not um, using actively, which is a pretty common way that games scale ammo acquisition like this. Uh, let's thought cabinet really quick. Lottery area. Hmm. Old stashes. I need to figure out how many of these we actually need. Were there only two left? Do I only have two more? I did. Oh, okay. So there are only two cult stashes, which means we just need to go down here to get the bolt cutters at the trailer park. Nice. We'll probably find like a lunchbox down there or something. I for one believe firmly that Setter should be mayor. We're getting close to the end with all these collectibles too, though, which is really nice. All right, bolt cutters here on the left. Yeah. We still have to check out um, you know, the lighthouse where there's that locked door that I don't know if we were able to get in yet or not. It's this place. Oh. Nothing in there. Ooh, a nursery rhyme. There's a rhyme over here. The old man who could not see had no children of his own, so he cared for a fawn not yet grown. For the deer, for him, was dear and filled his life with love. What could this be? The old man who could not see. Oh, duh. Hmm. Did I just stand my ground in some dude's house? Was this his house? Poor guy. I home invaded him. Oh, we got a moose one. Significantly increases time before darkness shields regenerate. That's actually really useful. Okay. Well, so much for that, folks. Yeesh.
The question is, can I beat this game in another five hours? <clears throat> That's what I wonder. I wonder if it's possible. I'm sure it's possible. Do I think I'll do it? Probably not. He doesn't have a darkness shield. Daka Anderson, crack shot. Look at that. Another charm. Oh, and there's no enemies outside this time. How oh, nice. Now, let's head back up to the lighthouse to see. I, I just, I find it weird that we never got like a key to go up here. <clears throat> Kind of strange. So that should be fine, I guess. Want to look at the case board again, really quickly? How many do we need here? Watery. Just need one. More fan fiction with zombies and mycology. Not gonna lie, I'd read more of these. If the author of these pages wanted privacy, that ship has sailed. These are some positive affirmations inside. Cute. The note inside references the story again. Do they think I'm the protagonist? More fan fiction and boy, what a cliffhanger. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, coughing. Don't mean to cough in the microphone. Uh, let's see. Radio Tower, Coffee World, Lighthouse, Trailer Park. So this one was found in the lighthouse. Behind the motorcycle club, next to the watery lighthouse. Okay. Let's go up to the lighthouse really quick. See if we missed anything on our way there. Anything good over here? No. Nothing super meaningful over here. We are gonna wanna just walk up to the lighthouse again just to check out what's up there. And that's just up this way, I think. The map real quick. Yeah, okay. La wait, lunchbox? Okay, so the thing does mark the lunch boxes on our map. That's awesome, but there's one right here. Oh yeah, I guess there is. Dang, how did I miss this? Another one of those lunch boxes. You can do anything you put your mind to, hero, so long as you put your mind to the part of the story. Okay, well we're done with this now, with with these. <clears throat> Found all the lunch boxes hidden around Watery. We got Watery and Bright Falls. We only have one to find left in Cauldron Lake. We're so close to cracking this case. Uh, cult stashes. We have all of the cult stashes in Watery. Nursery rhymes. Let's see if we have all the Watery nursery rhymes. We're missing one Watery nursery rhyme. Yeah. Okay. How many of these are we missing? We're missing two Cauldron Lake, one Watery, one Bright Falls. Wow, we're so close to, to closing all of these cases. That's actually kind of amazing. <clears throat>